This video tutorial explains how to convert your draft GPX files into walks ready for publication on iFootpath. First, log into the website. Then, go to My GPX Files from the left hand menu. This page gives you an entire list of all the GPX files you've uploaded, either from iFootpath Mobile, the app, or from the upload function at the bottom of this page where you can upload files from your computer. Locate the file you're looking for and then click Edit Track. This will open the track in the bespoke iFootpath GPX editor. If you scroll down you'll see there's a full list of instructions of everything you may need to do with the GPX track to get it ready to make a draft walk. If you've used iFootpath Mobile to create your track, you won't have to go through all of these steps. First of all, see if the track itself, the red line, is accurate. If there's a section of track that you need to remove, zoom in. Then click the Trim function, place the marker on the map and drag to create a rectangle. When you click Remove, any points within the track, within that rectangle, will be deleted. If you need to do any further editing of the red route itself, the instructions below explain this in full. The key thing to ensure before you save the GPX data is that the waypoints are correct. The waypoints create the skeleton of the walk ready for you to write. Every track must start with a go point, this is created for you, and a final waypoint called end. If you've created the track using the app, this will have been saved for you. Along the way you may have already added waypoints to split the walk into sections. You must have at least one waypoint, creating two walk sections to continue. If you haven't added any waypoints, do this now. To place a waypoint, click Place Waypoint and then click on the map. Drag the new waypoint into position. To name it, click Edit in the list of waypoints and give the waypoint a name. Click Save. Make sure that your waypoints are in the correct numerical order around the track. Here you'll see we need to swap waypoints 6 and 7. Simply drag them in the numbered list to change the order. If you need to change the name of any waypoints, click Edit next to its name, change the name and click Save. So ensure you've finished with a number of waypoints splitting the walk into sections starting with go, running in the correct numerical order and ending with one called end. When you're happy with the route, click Save GPS Data. The spinning circle in the centre of the page shows that the GPX file is saving. The screen returns to the list of GPX files. You're now ready to click Convert to Walk. When you click this, the walk is created and a form appears for you to edit the content. The title is already named after the title of the track. Change this if you need to. In the overview box, write an overview of the walk. You might want to include what people will see along the way and also access information. Are there any styles, gates, what are the paths like and how steep are the climbs and descents? Add a county, an area or town, select a walk type, the length will already have filled for you, simply select a difficulty and then Browse on your computer 
to choose the file as the main image to represent the walk. You may also wish to add an icon image, which is a square image that appears in the tile of recently added walks and in the list in the app. Finally, for this section, add some information about getting there, how people find the start point. You also may wish to include an approximate postcode. Leave the status as draft and click update walk. This will take you to a list on a page called Manage My Walks. This is an entire list of all your published and draft walks in iFootpath. Scroll to find the walk you're working on. Now you're going to add the turn by turn directions for each of the sections. To access the sections, click on the pair of footsteps. This opens up the sections that have been created for you automatically from the GPX file. You'll notice that each section is named Start to Name of Waypoint 1, in this case the Eaton Rowing Centre, and then Waypoint 1 to Waypoint 2, etc., right to the end, where it's the penultimate waypoint to the end. Click on each section, add the turn by turn directions and also any historical notes of interest. Finally, add a photograph to represent each section and then click save section. Continue by clicking add view walk sections and work your way through each section adding directions for each one. When you're finished click the title of the walk to go back to the main page. You're now ready to preview your walk. You can do this by clicking the preview faded running man icon. This will open a preview of your walk as it would appear on the website. Check that you're happy with the content when you've completed it. If you are, close that window, scroll down and set your status to ready and click update walk. A pop-up box will ask you to confirm that you're ready to submit the walk to the iFootpath administrators. Click OK to continue. The walk has now gone to the iFootpath administrators and we will get back to you as soon as we can to confirm whether any changes are needed or whether your walk has been published. I hope this has been helpful. Remember there are full user guides on our website as well as frequently asked questions or if in any doubt please just email us at admin at iFootpath.com and we'll do everything we can to help. Thanks again for supporting iFootpath.